Hi everyone, um, this is Bernadette from the City of Rockingham Libraries. Um, I'm here at the Warmbrook Community Library today and we're going to be doing a Makers and Creators session. Now I do miss seeing everybody um, with our monthly Makers and Creators um, workshops that we do. So we thought the events team and I thought it would be a good idea for us to um, do what the YPS librarians are doing and we'll do some videos too. Um, so today I'm taking the inspiration from this lovely lady, her name is Geneva and this book is like really good. She offers really great tips on how you can um, make your house more of a home and she's got great like upcycling skills. Uh, now I know the girls who were coming to the Makes and Creators sessions before COVID, um, I spoke about upcycling vases. So I thought to kick it off for the first online video, we would do the upcycled vases. So basically you need um, one cup of water-based paint. So I've got, I don't know if you can see it, this gorgeous like mint color. Uh, you need a, a vase, doesn't matter what size it is. Um, it's just one that maybe you don't like the color of it anymore, but I quite like this um, shape. And I've got a little terracotta pot too that I'll paint. So basically, um, we're gonna make like a chalk paint um, and it gives a really nice sandy effect. Now, this is my first time doing it too, so we'll all be in this uh, together like all of our makes and creators sessions. And basically we just add one tablespoon of baking powder um, into the paint and then it, apparently it fluffs up and will double in size. And then we can just paint it on to the vase. And then if you want a more flat finish, we can just use a sponge to like go over it. So I'm gonna get cracking on this. So I'm gonna add the tablespoon of baking powder. Let's see it work its magic. And we just need to mix it. And I don't know if you could see it, probably not. It's starting to bubble a little bit. And it is going like a sandy effect. Is quite cool. <laughs> wow. It's kind of like going like marshmallow. Right, I think that's pretty good. I'll just move that book out of the way and I'll start painting it. Can you see that texture? Now, I'm not a painter at all, so it's probably going to have brush marks in it. It doesn't matter, I can flatten it out with the roller. so thick.
I, I'm quite happy with this one. So I'm going to do my little terracotta pot now. And I'll let that dry for about an hour. And then we'll come back. I don't think it'll need a second coat. I'm finished with this now, so I'm going to leave it for about an hour to dry and I will come back and show you what they look like. I'll see you shortly. Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. So um, this is finished now, so I ended up giving it two coats of paint and I added a little bit more baking powder um, just to give that nice um, textured like sandy effect. Uh, I would love for you if you're gonna make this at home or not make it if you're gonna like do this activity if you could share with us your um, photos of what you've done you can send it to the City of Rockingham Facebook page or our Instagram um, and yeah I'll see you next time bye